Backers, welcome to Hannah's backyard. Apparently, keep it. Oh, you don't want to be helpful. My bad. Hi guys, welcome to Hannah's backyard. Today we're going to be starting our tomatoes and our pepper seeds. Uh, for the tomatoes and some peppers, I'm going to be using the Rapid Rooter Grow Plug in a system like this. Um, and then eventually I will up-pot them when necessary. And then I'm going to do just the traditional um, kitty. Stop shaking my camera. Uh, little pots. I think these are 3 by 4 And I'm going to fill these with Fox Farms uh, Happy Frog dirt. So let me get that set up and ready and I'll bring you back for when we put the seeds in. For these Rapid Rooter plugs, um, they're a little bit moist, but basically put them in the water, give them a squeeze, and put them in. Pretty simple. Sticking it. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I got the seed on the floor. Um, I did put them in here on the seed mat. I don't have a light on, on them yet. I'm going to wait um, for them to pop up and then I'll get a light on them. From what I understand and what I've been learning is seeds do not need light to, gener or to germinate. They need heat or the soil needs to be a certain temperature. So I do have them on the seed mat. 
Um, I've even heard that that's not necessary, but I keep my house pretty cool. Right now, I, um, in this greenhouse, it's 67. Now, I did have it in front of the south window, and I think it was causing my plants to be a little bit leggy. Um, so I moved it over so that it doesn't get direct sunlight. The lamps, or the lights that I have in here, are actually working. I think what was happening is... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the sunlight was brighter than my lights, which you'd think that would be okay, but it was making them stretch and um, reach for reach for the sun. Um, which, in all reality, that would be great. If this was the greenhouse was outside, I think that would be excellent. But since it's not, um, I think that it's better that I moved it over. The only unfortunate thing with that is it's not going to heat up as much. Like I was getting up in like 90s uh, for temps in here, which is also I think going to cause rapid growth. So it is a little bit cooler, um, you know, 67, which is good for my cool weather crops. Um, I got the cabbage and broccoli and cauliflower, kale, all of that. So I think. That's another reason they were getting leggy, is they are a cool weather crop, and here I am putting them in a 90 degree um, greenhouse, you know, and then it would get down to, you know, our house temp, which is 62, I keep the house very cool, um, so the back and forth. So moving it away from the window has been a good thing. Now we'll see, now that I'm starting the tomatoes and the peppers, if that's going to be good, but with the seed, the heat mat, I think it'll help bring this, uh, warm up the water, warm up the grow pot, or yeah, the grow plugs, um, and we'll get this to germinate here pretty soon. After that, by that time, it's going to be warm enough um, that I can take them off the grow, the heat mat, and maybe I'll end up putting this back in front of the window. Otherwise, I'd like to get this greenhouse outside um, once the temps, like night temps, start getting a little bit warmer. But I don't know if we'll end up doing that or not. So I ended up getting everything in one tray which was phenomenal, but I still do have this, and I think I'm, I'm probably going to talk to my mom and see if she wants me to start some specific plants, and I'll start hers in these pots. That way I don't have to up-pot them. Um, it is what it is. They're already in it, and I'll do some peppers and tomatoes in that. Uh, I think I'm going to have everything I need in the 55. So I do have, I got 20 tomatoes, two tomatillos, and then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 33, I have 33 peppers, so that should be enough. Last year I did, well I had 30, because it was my first year growing, so I got a little bit overzealous, but I had 32 um, sweet peppers, like bell peppers, and then I had another 14 maybe 18 hot peppers and as much as nice as that was I don't I think it was just a little bit too much so I did downscale a little bit and I do really like supporting the local greenhouse so I will probably go there and buy stuff as well um but this is what I'm going to start for now so anyway thank you for coming along I hope you enjoyed um my little video of starting my tomatoes and peppers so March 17th is the date. Happy St. Patty's Day. And hopefully within the next week, these will be popped up. And it's almost garden season, guys. Yesterday we had a 60 degree day and it was so everything in me not to want to go out to the garden. So I'm hoping to get it tilled here uh, in about a month and get my um, carrots, onions planted. And hopefully by then, these might be ready to go out, the brassicas. I'm really hoping. Um, if not, I'll be getting them outside during the day. So anyway, we'll see you guys later. Have a good one.